I think from a regulation perspective, there's dumb regulation, there's no regulation, and there's smart regulation. It's pretty much, <laughs> right? And then in terms of smart regulation, well, people have had crypto exchanges and have had cryptocurrency ownership for the last, like, you know, it's been 10 years or 15 years. Like, it's been 2008, 2009 since Bitcoin's been founded. So the digital asset cryptocurrency has been around for a long time. And the lawmakers and the regulators have, you know, to say that, oh, they're trying to, they're just learning about this industry is bullshit, right? They've had plenty of time to learn about this industry. Coming back to sort of what I said earlier is that I think from a regulation perspective, there's key things you have to care about, right? The original points, the talking points for regulation is actually custody. You are a custodian of user assets. That is the most important thing for digital asset businesses. You are a custodian of user assets. What does the law say about custody? What does the law say about anti-money laundering? Those are the fundamental building blocks of the financial asset class, right? And if you want to run a regulated business, those are the two key things that people care about from a regulatory perspective. I think from what we've seen from the FTX scenario is, like Nichelle said, maybe we got to bring in some of these like stock exchange practices or equity exchange, stock exchange practices on fair dealing, right? I think that's something that we need to start caring about. You can't trade against your customers. That's pretty straightforward. And the third point, whereas I think some regulators have cared too much about the differences between utility token and security token. That discussion has been in place since the beginning of tokens, since Ethereum started doing smart contracts. Hey, guess what? If you don't even have custody and you don't have fair practices, right? Like what's a utility and what's a security? It doesn't really matter that much. These are startups issuing tokens. They're startup tokens. You can call them whatever you want, right? Like it's, it's, you're investing in a startup. It's just that instead of equity, it's tokens, right? If it works out, you can make a lot of money. If it doesn't, it go to zero. Tell people that. Educate people on the risks involved in that. Beyond that, you know what? Everybody can put in $50,000, right? <laughs> You know, it's, it's just sort of like put a number on it. You know, cap people's losses or something right. like that, right? So, so I think there's, that's, that in my mind is smart regulation. Focus on the key things and then keep it consistent. And then you modify over time. So Very I think from a regulatory perspective, what we've seen in the U.S. is actually a lack of clarity has actually caused a lot of this. Because right. I think the people that actually lost the most money on FTX are actually American institutions, American LPs, and American funds.